Cool. It's so hot today. Hmm. Wow. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Ice 3 from Ranvu. Yes, I know it's a bit of a cheesy name, but crikey, this thing lives up to its intelligent reference. And I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna put this right in the category of gadgets I thought I would never need, but I am planning on using quite a bit. And not just in the summertime. Let me explain a bit more. So first of all, full disclosure, I was sent this product to try out ahead of launch, but everything you're about to hear is my own opinion based on my experience testing this out and the manufacturers haven't told me to say anything in particular or paid me to make this review. Now, I don't think I've ever shared this on the channel before, but I've got this odd condition. It's not been medically diagnosed or anything, but I am almost always in a state of being too hot. It's one of the reasons I've been always drawn to work in some of the Scandinavian countries and colder climates in general, as I find it much easier to regulate my body temperature compared to places where I get too hot. But you know, this, the Ice 3, might just change that for me. This is a portable air conditioner that you wear around your neck, which the manufacturers claim will rapidly cool you down using advanced technology. Oh, and it also does heating, blood oxygen, and heart rate detection, and quite a bit more. I'm looking forward to seeing how this works. So let's start by seeing what's in the box and what a lovely box. Around this time in a video, I usually do a kind of jump cut where I clip my fingers like this and cut to the box items all opened up, but this was so nice, I kind of felt I had to film all of it. Now if you buy this and no one in your house knows what it is, they will be forgiven for thinking that it's a high spec pair of headphones. And that starts with the box. So first up, we've got a little sleeve, which has got a few items in it, including this very nice carry pouch, which is embossed with ice lettering. Really nice quality, this. We also have a quick start guide, safety pamphlet, and a brochure all about the Ranvu brand. Now under this foam layer, we have got a stand, a USB-C charging cable, and then here we have the ICE 3 unit itself. So first impression, this is heavier than it looks, and again, I can't help but feel this looks like a decent set of headphones, a blend of lighter metals and high quality plastics with some flex in them to help get a comfy fit. Then you've only really got two physical buttons to work with here. There's the power button up top, and then there's this function button over here, which activates the cooling, heating, or play pause. Yes, you can play music and calls through this. We can see the USB-C charging port, which takes a 22 watt charge. And so elsewhere, we've got a sensor right in the center, which can measure your blood oxygen and your heart rate as well, if you're wearing it when you're out and about. Moving around, we've got a thermal pad here on the inside, which is a four core semiconductor made of aluminum. And we'll see how this feels short. Shortly. Up at the front, we have the air outlet, which channel the air from four fans. And then finally, we've got a 1.9 inch color screen, which is touch sensitive and provides haptic feedback. You can tap, slide, and press to control it. And in terms of setup, first job is to get it charged up. This has a 7,000 milliamp hour battery, which takes two and a half hours to charge from empty. By the way, a full charge will give you three and a half to six hours cooling, depending on your intensity, or around four and a half to six and a half hours for heating. Not bad. Now you can just control this via the touch panel, which looks great, but my experience has been that until you know the menu functions back to front, or if you have a mirror in front of you, pretty much every function on this device is easiest to control via the app. And this is super easy to connect and control via Bluetooth, and a very pleasant surprise, you don't have to sign up for a special account to use it. It just works out of the box. And the app is also how you load on things like firmware updates, which will help provide enhanced features in the months to come. Let's take a look at some of the key features. Cooling for a start. So if I turn on the device via the app, um, oh, little vibration to let me know. And I'm gonna switch on the cooling feature. You'll see I get a couple of controls here in the app. This one does temperature, which you can set to as low as 16 degrees Celsius. And then this one here is your fan speed. So if I try this at kind of medium level for both, and hopefully you can hear this over the mic, this is really quite quiet. And it's a bit like having a, decent breeze blowing around you. The wind's primarily coming from the front here and it's hitting the area under my chin and it's somehow coming around the back of my neck too. I'm not sure how it's doing that, but I can definitely feel that there's a breeze blowing down sort of the back of my neck towards my back. And even at this low speed, it actually, it feels really nice. And I feel that if I was in an office holding a conversation with someone, then that would feel and be absolutely fine and practical. If I take it down to 15% now, this feels a bit more like the kind of chill that you get from a fan that might be on the other side of a room that occasionally is hitting your skin. Now next I'm gonna bring this down to its lowest temperature and its highest fan speed, so like extreme cool mode and see where that takes us, here we go. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, so I would say within about three seconds, this feels like someone's just put an ice pack on the back of my neck straight out of the freezer. Really, really responsive in terms of feeling like I've I've just stepped into a very aggressively air-conditioned room. Wasn't expecting this at all. And now the air is blowing. It feels like it's kind of blowing in lots of different directions. It's not just getting under my neck, but I'm getting it around, around my face as well as down the back of my neck. Definitely cooled down. Wow, impressive. Let's try the heating function. I've got to admit, this isn't something I feel super comfortable with, wearing an electronically heated device around my neck that's gonna get hotter and hotter. So we'll give it a go, let's see how we get on. So I switch it on, little beep and a vibrate. Quite quickly, I can feel a nice kind of soothing, warm feeling around my neck. It feels a little bit like like slipping into a warm bath. Every, obviously everything from here upwards is a regular temperature, but my neck area and a little bit further below is, is really quite warm. Now I can add fans on here, but I'm gonna try and leave them off-ish for now. So I've just dialed the heat up to the maximum temperature to see how long I can handle that for. Now before trying this, my guess was gonna be that this would feel much the same as having one of those little soft cushions that you can stick in the microwave, but it's much more kind of concentrated and intense heat than that. Um, and obviously with those, the heat just wears off, whereas here it's pretty consistent. I can control the temperature, that's quite hot now, to a level that I'm comfortable with. Now, as somebody who's always too warm, this is genuinely really soothing. It almost feels like I'm being massaged. So if you're someone that suffers from neck pain that's usually kind of alleviated by heat treatment, I can definitely see how this would help you out. Now finally, we have intelligent auto mode. So if I flick over to this, as you can see here, a little beep and a, oh, as we can see here, you can set this to do its thing based on whatever you want to be doing. So it could be a certain temperature or maybe a particular effect. If I swipe up from here, there are also a bunch of different modes which will tell the cooler to prioritize certain things like, you know, a heat pack or cooling first or battery life first, and then maybe a treatment for sedentary relief, stress relief or muscle relief. And the idea here is that you kind of just set and forget. So if you are poorly and you've got temperature and you want to bring it down to a particular temperature, you can stick it on auto and the cooler will do its thing to make sure you don't drop below that temperature or rise too far above it. Pretty cool. There are some other things that this can do that I've not had a huge opportunity to check. Things like activity monitoring, blood oxygen reading, and also heart rate tracking too. Oh, and also that Bluetooth connection carries audio too, so you can use it as a little wearable speaker that you can listen to music or even take calls from. And the cool thing about all of these is that you can only expect them to get better with future firmware and app updates. <laughs> One of the things I find myself wondering as I've been testing this out is, who is this actually for? And I think I've narrowed it down to a clutch of common use cases. So I think you should probably think about buying this if you've got a need to either stay cold when everyone is hot, or maybe stay hot when everyone else is cold. Maybe you're also worried about paying your heating or your cooling bills, and you'd rather just control how hot or cold you are in your space, rather than paying to heat or cool a whole room or house. Another scenario where I think this would come in really handy is if you have to regularly attend public areas where you can't control the temperature. Places like hospitals and waiting rooms and offices, public transport, that type of thing. I could definitely imagine using one of these here. Another idea, maybe you or a family member might need some help alleviating menopause symptoms. I know my dear old mum would have loved one of these when she was experiencing hot flushes a few years back. Or finally, maybe you're ill with a fever and you need warming up or cooling down in a controlled way alongside any medication you've taken. Maybe you can think of some others. Let me know in the comments below, what would you use something like this for? If you wanna check out the ICE 3 for yourself, the RRP is set to be 399 US or 327 sterling, but they are launching their Indiegogo campaign today, so you can get a huge discount off this price if you're an early bird backer. I'm gonna leave some links and discount codes for you lovely people in the description below, and if you do decide to use those, you will be helping support the channel. Oh, and by the way, if you can't wait to try this out via the Indiegogo campaign, ICE 3 is now available on Amazon. I put a discount code in the video description which you can use to go and get the best price. Let me know how you get on. As always folks, if you enjoyed this one, be kind, leave a like before you leave. And if you wanna see more like this, maybe even a cheeky subscribe. See you next time and hey, stay cool.